Okay, hello, and we are in the Chrome bit, the Asus Chrome bit CS10, and we are signed into our account. So this is basically the startup uh, screen once you're signed in. Give you this thing, you can do a tour if you want to. I don't really need to. So we're just gonna go through like what exactly can you do on a Chrome bit, because uh, there, there ain't really much to this. So. Let's go over here to the uh, settings, this bottom left hand side, right? And these are the options, there's not much, right? So you have your files, and as you can see, like, it, you know, the stuff here, so you got my drive, share with me, resend, yeah, you get the 100 gigabyte free with Google Drive, not really that interested in that, but, you know, your downloads, so whenever you have, like, an external uh, device like a, a USB like it, let's say you have a hub because you saw where I uh, hooked in the uh, the Bluetooth for the mouse and keyboard um, if you have like a USB hub of course you can put in other USB things so one of those can be a storage device where you have different files if you want to like watch videos or movies or music or anything like that this would be probably the section you'd go to would be the files and then it'll tell you over here like how much storage space and whatnot looks like uh 9.6 gigabytes available so that's pretty decent it's pretty nice and so that's that um yeah that's that next up uh let's see oops trying to f <laughs> it's really trying to focus all right so we go back here right so that's files get help that's kind of self-explanatory Chrome, we're gonna get to that in the second web store and then go to all apps. I'm pretty sure all apps are just gonna show, yep, the exact same thing. So nothing new is there. Uh, before we go to Chrome and get into like the busy stuff, let's go down here to the bottom right hand corner. So this is gonna be the stuff, you know, date, time. Uh, that's where it's gonna have email, it's gonna have what your, your device that you're connected to and all that stuff. It's probably gonna be blurred out for obvious reasons. And then uh, here you got your shutdown. You can lock the screen. It's got the help stuff here. And then here's where you get to your settings, like your settings settings. So let's go to that real quick. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so once again, it's gonna have your Wi-Fi or whatever connection you're hooked up to. Bluetooth information. Once again, it's gonna have the email stuff. Lock screen, manage other people. You can change your wallpapers, your themes. All that fun stuff. Yep, devices, mouse, keyboard displays search engine stuff and that's uh that's that stuff and then you go to advanced down here it's gonna have just a little bit more stuff not too much more but a little bit more so date and time stuff location privacy and security uh all that stuff passwords formats languages inputs it's basically a browser on a usb pretty much you got some printing options accessor accessibility and reset stuff so that's pretty much that this one it's a chrome bit it doesn't have anything like linux or anything like that on here <laughs> unfortunately it doesn't um if you go to about because uh yeah they stopped updating this back in november of 2020 so we got like a super old build right here like it's like yeah it's super old so that's that um and yeah there's really not much else to it other than uh pretty much that i'm pretty sure you can do things like Oop, it's trying to focus again. Yep. Oh yeah, th this thing right here, uh, also on the bottom right, this is just notifications, right? So notifications, and then, you know, do not disturb, clear all, and then you can go to settings for notifications. So just as you know, does that say Chrome goodies? What? <laughs> uh, files, smart lock, and screenshot. Oh my goodness, focusing, okay. So that's that. All right, now we'll get to the bread and butter which is really the only thing this device pretty much is, is the browser. So we go here to the browser, error 404 not found. I uh, don't know what that is. So, all right. So you got all the usual stuff. Um, let's just start by going to uh, YouTube, right? Cause why not? Let's just go to YouTube. So uh, yeah, first option, it'll do a Google search for it. Blip. And there we go. Let's just go right here and let's maximize this bad boy. Yeah. Because why not? 
it takes a little bit. Oh yeah, my most recent video. Let that one load up here. And yeah, I don't have the... Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I do have the volume up there. That's not that. We won't worry about that. All right. So anyway, notifications. I usually say block that because it's not that important. Okay. But you kind of get the gist of it. It's it's a browser. It does things. And that's pretty much all the functionality you really need. I'm going to do a series later on like what you can do besides just like kind of the basics, you know, browsing the web, going to the typical stuff like, um, yeah, Google and you know like if you want to look up stuff like uh let's see kotlin right you can go to kotlin Oop, not that one <laughs> kotlin.org if we want to look up some programming stuff some android development if you feel me i like kotlin and then um uh you know the other thing that i like uh let's go back real quick Let's go to uh, let's go to old Zorn OS. Why not? Yeah, good old Zorn OS. Ah, yes. <laughs> Love me some Linux distros. Yes, indeed. But you guys, you guys get the gist of it. So now let me show you something else. Let me show you when you're not signed in all the things that come with that. All right, so exit out here. All right, so we're gonna sign out real quick. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna let you guys see what it's like when you're just browsing as a guest. So go over here, we're gonna go to sign out. And then my monitor is gonna do its usual thing. Okay, and we're just gonna go over here to the bottom left-hand side where it says browse as a guest, right? And as you can imagine, Browse as Guest is going to do us a little reset real quick. Browse as Guest is going to be very uh, bare bones, as you can imagine. So you really can't do anything, kind of like as it says here. Pages in this window won't appear in the browser history. They won't leave other traces, no cookies, nothing, nothing. Bookmarks, useless. <laughs> Nothing's preserved. But what you can do, which I think is pretty interesting and cool, right? because it is a browser but it's also an environment that you can do some coding just like kind of the basic stuff html css and javascript so we're going to go down here to more tools up here in the settings and we're going to go to developer to oh my goodness more tools got to keep it in there and developer tools here so this is what i like to do usually for fun uh go up in here in console and this is pretty much just you can just play around in here so let's do like i don't know um 988 plus 566 enter and boom instant math see isn't that nice and then uh we'll just do some like super 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 beginner baby javascript just so that you know we can play around a little let's do uh let my let my name zoom in there let my name equal gamelthorpe undefined good and now we'll just do a uh, print so console.log my name uh, Gamblethorpe so there you go that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much what you get with a chrome bit in a nutshell there really isn't too much mileage that you get on this thing it can do the basics you can do some javascripting you can browse the web 1080p play movies, play videos, play music, uh, do picture slideshows, that typical stuff. But it's pretty much just a, uh, a glorified browser stick. But it's still pretty interesting and pretty fun. I might do some uh, theory crafting and try some other things out with this. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much the Chrome bit in a nutshell. So 
Hope it's been interesting. Hope it's been fun. Hope you guys had a good time. And like always, live peacefully and take care of yourselves. We out.